Hey y'all, welcome to my bathroom. You know what this means. It's been a very long time since I filmed a hair dyeing video and honestly, I am very fucking excited for this one. I have had fun with the green. I really, I really like the green, but it fades so fucking fast that it is unbelievable. I have dyed my hair green three times in the last like two weeks because it just, it doesn't stay. I don't know if it's just my hair or if everybody has this problem, but I cannot stand it. Well, I dyed it green twice and then I also bought a color depositing conditioner that was like emerald green and it just, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't work. And so I'm gonna dye my hair red because I kind of miss the red. And the red is John's favorite. So we're gonna do John a favor. We're gonna do myself a favor. We're gonna get rid of the green and we're just gonna, we're gonna get my red. I don't think that it'll be a problem if I don't bleach my hair. I know that the top of my hair looks really dark right now, but it's really not. The black has faded and it's, so it's like, just kind of like a, I don't know, a faded black, what color is that? And then red and green are opposites on the color wheel. I looked that up, so I know that. And so I think that it'll cover the green just fine. And I don't really care if the top of my head is like bright red as long as it has like a red tone to it. I don't care. So I went to Walgreens. Well, I went to Albertsons and then I went to Walgreens because Albertsons did not have burgundy. We're going back to our Colorista roots. This is where the shit all started. So they only had one burgundy and I didn't feel like going to another store. So I got one burgundy and one red and we're gonna mix these bitches. I think that it'll be fine. And that's what I always say. And you know what? It typically is fine. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. Nar and Rumble are both here and they're gonna be playing around. So if you hear weird noises, it's my cats. Or if the tripod moves because Rumble is smelling the tripod. Come on, Rumble. But let's get this shit started, shall we? I have therapy in the morning and the gonna be like, are you okay? Your hair is red. I forgot I need to change my shirt because this is my sister's shirt and she's gonna be real mad at me if I dye this bitch red. One second, please. Gonna put some towels down because I don't trust myself. Every time I say I'm not gonna make a mess, I make a mess. So we're putting towels like over everything. Except when I dyed my hair green, I got it all over my sink. Nar, don't sit on the towel. You're gonna get red on you. When I dyed my hair green, I got green all over my sink. Like it was fucking everywhere, but it comes off pretty easily because it's, um, I don't know what kind of material this is, porcelain. I don't, I don't know. But it came off really easily. I just had to use alcohol, like rubbing alcohol. No big deal. I also, do you want to see something stupid? So I normally buy like big boxes of gloves from like Target. The ones at Sally's are just ridiculously expensive, but they don't have any more gloves at like any store because of COVID. So I bought like cleaning gloves and I've been using these, but my colorista comes with gloves. I just wanted to show you how stupid these are. That's what I've had to use to dye my hair. Cleaning gloves. But honestly, great investment, 10 out of 10. I'm kind of worried because my roots are a little bit grown out, which means my roots are probably gonna be like super red, but at the same time, that might be kind of cool. So I think we're just gonna go with it. But if you guys are like normal people on my channel, like if you've been here before, then you know that I'm not a professional. This is not a professional video. Wow, they give you a lot of gloves. I got like four pairs or like three pairs or like two, no three. I got three pairs of gloves. Thank God. I'm not a professional. I don't know what I'm doing. I just dye my own hair because I don't feel like paying someone and I'm too impulsive. I can never wait. Making an appointment that's not in my addiction, my vocabulary. It's not a big dictionary. I'm gonna take this little guy, but I don't think it's gonna be big enough. But we're gonna hope that it is. And we're gonna start with our maroon baby boy or our, yeah, our burgundy, maroon, whatever color this is. Well, we're gonna mix them. I'm just dumping this one in here first. Whenever I film these videos, I realize how fucking boring my life is because I genuinely don't have anything to tell you. So, sorry. Except some people like that. Some people like when I just shut the fuck up and get to the point and I dye my hair and do my shit and they don't like when I talk. So you know what? I'm appeasing those people today. I don't have any stories. On to the red. If I can get it open, my hands are slippery from the, okay. Nar, I need you to get out of my space. I need you to get out of my area because you're gonna dye yourself red. Okay, and now we're just gonna mix the two. And I'm honestly just kind of hoping that the red just like forms with the burgundy. Nar, don't touch that. You're literally gonna dye your little paws maroon and I can't, I can't have you be maroon. I just can't have it. People are gonna get mad at me for dyeing my cat. They're so nosy. Like they're just so nosy. 
and I don't know how to like get them out of my business. I'm not kidding anymore. I'm bigger than you. I will beat your ass. I guess I do have one story to tell you guys. It's a ghost story. And the main reason I have this story is because I totally spaced in my video from Wednesday. I totally forgot to actually tell the story even though I had mentioned it previously in the video. So I guess I will tell you a ghost story right now. This is what it looks like. It's kind of really gross looking. It honestly just kind of looks like blood, but we're gonna put it in our hair. I have no technique. Say it with me. I have no technique. Don't come at me. So when I was at my group therapy today, they know what I do for a living, so they know I'm a YouTuber and they know I do like spooky scary stories. And so my counselor was like, I actually have a story to tell you. It's like a ghost story. Which honestly got me really excited because I was like, wow, like they know I like ghost stories. Like, I don't know. Like everything they do there is so validating. I already dropped a huge blob. I mentioned this before, but everything they do is so validating. Like they think that everything you do is like the coolest thing in the entire world and it makes me feel really good about myself. So I don't remember if she's, I don't remember the relationship she had to the person that she was talking about. It's all over me. I'm like, how do I even accomplish this? Like I have red dye all over my legs and my arms already, I just started. So anyways, someone that she knows works at a prison and the prison is supposedly haunted. And he was telling them this story where like one day he was walking around and everybody kept asking him who was following him, like who was behind him. And he was like, there's nobody following me. There's nobody behind me. And they were like, yeah, somebody was just walking behind you. And so he goes out to the yard and he's just walking around and a bunch of these officers start screaming like, hey, hey, hey. And he was like, what? And they were like, no, we're not yelling at you. We're yelling at the person following you. And he was like, there was nobody following me. And it turns out that this older woman, she was in the prison. She was old and she had died like in her sleep from heart problems. I guess he was the guard who had went and checked on her. And I think maybe he was the one who had found her that she had passed away. I just stepped in a giant glob. So the bottom of my foot is gonna be dyed red, which is comforting. So anyways, I guess everybody had seen the ghost of this woman following him around the yard and inside of the like actual jail, which is just like absolutely terrifying to me. And honestly, it just reminded me of Alcatraz because when I went to Alcatraz, I was like, someone is totally gonna follow me home. Like there's 100% gonna be a ghost that just decides to like, hitch a ride and come back to Arizona because why the fuck not? I'm already haunted as it is. Oh no, oh no, I did not. Every time I try to fix things, I just end up making it worse. I'm actually so excited for my hair to be red again. I really, really missed the red. And I know I told you guys that I'd probably do blue after the green, but after my experience with the green, I just feel like it'll be the same with blue, like it'll just fade really fast. So I'm gonna have to redo it a billion times and I just don't really care to do that. And I've already had red and I know I really like it, so here we are. Okay, this is so easy. Wow, I haven't dyed my whole head in a really, really long time. Okay, can you get out? I haven't dyed my whole head in a long time and I forgot how fun this is. I forgot how therapeutic this was. You know what I think is a little bit funny? When my mental health was really bad, I would dye my hair a lot. And then my mental health got a little bit better for like a little bit of time. Not recently. Well, my mental health is good now, but like I'm talking about like I said this a while ago, but I was like, yeah, like I'm feeling really good and I don't think I need to dye my hair anymore because I was dyeing my hair because I was really depressed and I needed something to do to like fill the time, whatever. But like, that's just a blatant lie. Honestly, I think I dye my hair more when I'm feeling good because then I genuinely get fucking bored. That's one thing I've really learned about myself is like, when I'm not depressed, I realize how much time there is in the day and I just don't know how to fill that time. And so here we are with hair dye. This looks like it's gonna be super bright red, like especially my roots. And I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for that, but I'm also really excited. Okay, the green is gone. The green is officially, see ya. Goodbye, gone. I just like doing this. It's really, 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 really fun. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit in my hair. I'm gonna go eat and clean up my mess because I made a mess, of course I made a mess. I'm really, really hungry though. I don't know if I'll check back in with you tonight because I just, I'm gonna be like, I'm showering, so I don't really know what the point of that check-in is. But I will check in with you when my hair is done. Awesome, I love that. All right. Be right back, I guess. <laughs> okay, so it's actually been a couple of days because I did not feel like getting ready the last like two or three days. But here's the final product. It's pretty much exactly what I expected it to look like, which is a good thing because this is what I wanted. The top of my hair did take a little bit of the red tone. I figured it wouldn't be like 
super red because the top of my hair was pretty dark, but it took some of the red tones. And so I really like that too. But the bottom of my hair is pretty fucking red or pretty maroon. I'll show you in the light. This isn't really working how I thought it would. Well, it literally looks less red when I do it to the window. Okay, I opened up the window. I don't know if it even looks any different though how it did before, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I know a lot of people really liked the green. Like I had so many people who were like, why did you get rid of the green so fast? But like I said earlier, it just faded so fucking fast. I couldn't do it. And I'll probably revisit the green another time. But for right now, I just don't want to have to dye my hair every single week. Especially because I have been going swimming more often. And whenever I go swimming, it just, I mean, seriously, I went swimming with the green and it was completely gone. Like completely gone. It was like yellow and nasty. And so at least for now, I'm not going to do green. But other than that, I'm going to go. My makeup makes me look really weird today. Like I like my makeup today, but I feel like I look like a different person. I probably don't. But I'm going to go. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye. There's a moth that has been flying around my bathroom for like two days and he, I think he's watching me. He was like in the window and then when I opened the window, he like flew out of the window and I don't know how to get rid of him, but I don't want to kill him and I don't know what to do because I hate moths. They kind of creep me out. They're really weird and he's going to fly and then one day he's going to land on me and then I'm going to shit my pants and then I'm going to hate my life and whatever. See ya.